Hello Stampers, this is Kelly Atchison at Stampabup.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today for the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop, we've been challenged to make our projects all about Christmas. You know, Christmas in July. So I chose the Labels to Love stamp set and this gorgeous Under the Mistletoe designer series paper. Look at how pretty that is. It is absolutely beautiful. And what I wanted to show you is how simple it is to mass produce cards with the designer series paper. Let's get started. I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers here. I've got the big pine cone print with the polka dots on the back. I've got a piece of early espresso, and of course, this is a coordinating color for this paper. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're just going to fold it in half and burnish it with our foam folder. I've got a scrap of Whisper White, a piece of three and a half by four and three quarters Whisper White for the inside, and a little quarter inch strip of our gold glimmer paper. I thought that was a really nice accent for these cards. I wanted to show you how quick and easy this is. I took my designer series paper and I cut it at four inches. The neat thing about um, using designer series paper in the way that I'm going to show you, you would be able to get 72 cards out of one pack of designer series paper. So now we're going to turn this the other way. We're going to cut one piece at five and a half inches and then trim that down to two and three quarters inches wide. And I'll save this for some other project. And then the last piece here that we have left from our cut we're going to cut at five and a quarter. So we've got four by five and a quarter and two and three quarters by five and a half. Are you ready to see how easy this is? We're going to take this piece and add it right to the front of our card base. And I'm pushing it all the way over to the left side and it goes all the way up to the top. Then I'm going to take my glue and just add a little strip of it right next to the designer series paper and push this glimmer paper right up against it. So we've got the glimmer paper butted right up against our designer series paper. And I just always leave these longer so I can trim them off. I hate it when they get short, right? And that's never good. Then we're going to do a little stamping. I've got a shaded spruce ink pad. And like I said, I brought out my Labels to Love stamp set. So we're going to stamp on this scrap our Christmas greeting. And then we're going to take the layer that's three and a half by four and three quarters, and we're gonna stamp an inside greeting. Now this greeting is coming from the Hearts Come Home stamp set, and I just really like the font on it. You could use any greeting you want on the inside. See how nice and crisp and clean that is? I just really like that look. Okay, we're done stamping. Yeah, remember I said this was super simple. Here's the everyday label punch. We're going to punch out our label. Add a couple dimensionals to the back. Gonna add this right to our card front and then for the inside of the card I'm going to turn the designer series paper over and I'm gonna glue the inside greeting right on top of it. Now I said before that you would be able to make 72 cards out of a pack of designer series paper. You would actually be making half of those if you chose to use this designer series paper on the inside which I think really looks nice. So half of 72 would be 36. Oh my gosh, math is hard, right? So here we go. Here's our card. 
and it's very simple. It's very pretty because our designer series paper is beautiful. We've got the gold glimmer coming in there to bling it up. And I made one card out of each of the patterns in the Under the Mistletoe designer series paper. So let me show you. Isn't this fun with the reindeer on here? This is an old olive card base. And here's the inside. This is just the opposite of this paper right here. So that's what's on the back of it. Here's another pretty one. And again, I flipped over the paper to put it on the inside. Another gorgeous one. I'm gonna save that one for last. Here's another beautiful one. And I love, love, love this paper. I chose to keep the paper on the inside the same. Isn't that just gorgeous? I made these in a matter of minutes. You could easily sit down and mass produce a ton of Christmas cards using this technique. When I sit down to do my Christmas cards, I do it as an assembly line. So I would choose a bunch of early espresso and cut those in half, a bunch of shaded spruce and cut those in half, a bunch of old olive and cut those in half. This is our X, this is our whisper white thick. Cut those in half. Real red. Cut those in half. So I'd cut all my card bases first, fold them in half. Then I'd cut my layers for the front. Cut the layers for the inside. Stamp up a bunch of these, punch them out, put the dimensionals on the back and you are ready for assembly. This is just a really neat way to make a whole bunch of cards for the holidays. And that's when we make the most cards, right? I don't know about you, but I make a ton of cards. So we need them to be quick and simple. A great little project for July. And don't forget designer series paper. This is part of our July promotion. When you buy three packs, you get one free. That's an $11 freebie. And you can include this. You can order all three in this pattern or you can order um, different patterns. It doesn't matter. There's a list on my blog that tells which papers are included in the promotion and this is definitely one of them. I want to thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me and watch my video. You can click right up here. That'll take you right to my blog. You'll find an online ordering button in the right hand column. Don't forget to use the hostess code also in that column. Click down here to subscribe to my blog. You don't want to miss anything I have coming up. You guys have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.